Hello YouTube, Goddard Radio Moscow here again with another beer review for you, as is usual. So for this one we're going to go back to the Caribbean and we're going to visit a new country that I've never reviewed anything for. And uh, I actually think this is my first Caribbean beer review since I did Dragon Stout from Jamaica for you, maybe about 7 or 8 months ago. So this time we're going to go to Barbados and to Banks Barbados Breweries Limited and we'll have a taste of the Banks Caribbean Lager. And I've heard this is quite a nice sort of summery lager beer so it should be an interesting one for us to review. The Dragon Dragon Stout, I remember from Jamaica, was a really interesting beer, so hopefully this is another sort of Caribbean kind of luxury or something, if you like. Hopefully it's a really nice beer for us to review. But anyway, as is usual with my beer reviews then, I will take you through a very brief history of the brewery. It is very short for the Banks Brewery, and uh, since it's an unusual country to actually get a beer from, I will tell you just a few facts about Barbados itself. But as always, if you are simply just interested in the tasting of the beer, just fast forward a few minutes into the video and you will catch that little bit of it. And as always, the brewery website is in the video description for you below so check that out if you are interested in learning more about Banks Brewery. Anyway, as you'll probably know, Barbados is a very small island nation in the Lesser Antilles, and Barbados was actually an Amerindian settlement in the 3rd and 4th centuries, and then later in the 13th century, it was the Kalingo actually arrived from South America. This was a black tribe, I believe, that came over from South America. But the Spanish and Portuguese actually went on to claim the island as colonies in 16th and 17th century, although they left the island unpopulated and actually left very little mark of their presence on Barbados. But then the island was actually populated by the Arawaks who came from British Guyana in South America and the island actually became an English colony in 1627. Obviously this evolved into being a British colony in the 1700s and then that was until Barbados became an independent nation in 1966, although they do remain in the British Commonwealth today. The island itself is actually very small. It's only 432 kilometres square. I believe it was about 120 or so square miles, actually, just for those of you who use the different systems. But it has a population of only about 280,000. And obviously the economy was originally based on sugarcane cultivation and making rum, of course, but it's become far more diversified in recent years with trade investments from Canada, the US, Britain, and the other islands in the Caribbean uh, community. They've actually got a very high human development index these days, so they're a very kind of fast developing country and they are quite developed as it stands so I'm sure we'll see some quite interesting things coming out of Barbados and hopefully I can go down and visit the islands in the Caribbean at some point. It'd be really cool to go down there and see all these beautiful places in the Caribbean. But to move on to the actual history of the Banks Brewery. The brewery was established on September 7th 1961 by the Guyanese entrepreneur Peter de Aguar and the brewery has been growing steadily since that point. But 1968 saw them begin their exports to neighbouring Caribbean islands and three years later in 1971 they actually won their first award for their beer which was the Diploma of Excellence from the Lager Beer Competition in England. But the brewery, uh, in 1973 the current Banks Brewery acquired perpetual use of the Banks name in the English speaking Caribbean nations and, their form and this was from their former parent company which was Banks DIH Limited in Guyana or British Guyana or whoever you you want to describe it actually. But in 1999 the brewery established a parent company called Banks Holding Limited and they redesigned their label to the current ship design that you can see on the bottle. I'll give you a closer look at that just in a minute. But they also began to brew Guinness under a franchise agreement that year as well, obviously Guinness coming from Ireland. But in 2006 they actually unified with their former parent company Banks DIH Limited from Guyana as I said a second ago. And uh, they actually launched the United brand in the USA in 2008 so now they they export quite a lot all over the world. It's not simply restricted to North America and the Caribbean these days. You can get this beer all over the world, I'm, I'm led to believe. But today the brewery is actually located in the Pine Hill Dairy Complex in St Michael, which is one of the 11 parishes of Barbados, and this one is located in the southwest of the island. If you want to read a little bit more about Barbados and how the country's governed and stuff like that, just go and have a little look at the Barbados Wikipedia page. It shows you all the districts, and as I say, St Michael is one of 11 parishes actually on the island. But that's your sort of brief history of Barbados and of the Banks Brewery Limited. So let's get this guy out and we'll get on with the tasting here. I'll just bring up the camera and let you have a little look at this bottle here. This is a really nice one actually. I like it how they, the way that they've sort of printed the bottle if you like. I'm not sure what the technique for this is actually but they've done it really nicely. You can see here's the sort of Banks thing with the pirate ship on there. It says on the back, this is the legendary Caribbean beer that is celebrated across the region. It's got it in French as well. 
It's because obviously a lot of these islands in the Caribbean are francophone, but um, it says country of origin is Barbados and it's bottled at the Brasserie and Brulee Par uh, Banks Barbados Breweries Limited, Christchurch Barbados, and it has yeah everything's pretty much in French there. And uh, but it's a really nice looking bottle. I think it says beer imported from the Caribbean islands. So really nice looking label on this guy. The bottle cap's quite interesting there. You can see that it's actually the same. Where was it? Just as it is on the sort of top print on there. This is a really nice bottle. So I think I'll definitely be keeping this one and uh, let's get on to the tasting of this guy though it's a 4.7 percent lager beer you can't it doesn't tell you what kind of hops and malts and stuff go into this thing so can't really do that as we would do with the craft beer but there you are as you can see a nice sort of smoky opening 4.7 percent lager beer so let's get this guy out and get on with the tasting here very very clear looking beer definitely the sort of thing uh, that you would like from a premium beer. It's got a nice head on it actually that's poured quite nicely. So as you can see, I'll just bring up the camera and let you have a proper look at this beer. You can see there's a sort of solid finger of white frothy head on there which is typical of these kind of uh, of these sort of premium beers if you like premium lager beer very pale golden straw color if I put my fingers behind it you can see that it's transparent there. The head is kind of gradually fading down there's quite a little bit of carbonation visible in there and just a little tiny bit of sediment particle floating around. So let's give this guy a smell and see how we get on here. A lot of grassy hops in this one actually. Very nice sort of fresh grassy aroma. A little bit of the kind of corn, cornish smell and sweetness that you associate with these kind of macro produced beer. A little bit of grain in there too. And some cereals. But just a little bit of kind of biscuity sweet malt but that mixes a little bit with the sort of corny base that you have to these things but quite a little bit of grassy hop in there it smells very very fresh which obviously is what you want it's going to be a very light beer which is obviously Barbados a very hot country not far from the equator if I remember rightly but very very nice smelling beer very fresh it's a macro lager so it should be an interesting and easy one to drink but yeah let's give it a taste and see how we get on here It's, it's actually follows the aroma quite well and it is a very very crisp beer this is probably one of the most crisp kind of macro laggers that you're going to come across actually I just got a nice little blast of the carbonation with this one just at the first taste there yeah very very crisp the carbonation is really really active in this one There is actually a little teeny tiny bit of caramel in there on this one, but it's mainly the corn sweetness that's coming out. It has got quite a nice sort of corn sweetness to it actually. There's a little bit of bready character in there too that comes out, at, <coughs> pardon me, at the back of the tongue and it sort of stays there into the aftertaste but as I'm saying to you it's very very fresh at the end of the beer you're getting a nice sort of grassy hop finish there just with a little bit of citric fruit in there but overall it's a very sort of it's quite a malty uh, beer but they've got it fairly well balanced I mean you do get the nice little malty bit it's got a nice sort of sweet biscuity malt with some bready character in it there with the corn sweetness just a really very faint hint of caramel and brown sugar in there but the grassy hop character to the beer is actually quite nice and fresh and the high carbonation in this one helps bring that out just a little bit but yeah it's a very very light beer as well and that's obviously what you would expect from a kind of Caribbean beer in that sense very light bodied the carbonation is quite high on this one like I said very very crisp and it's the carbonation that helps bring that out and you've got just it's actually quite dry now that I think about it on the finish too but it's very easy drinking and obviously for a nice beer to drink out on a hot summer's day this is exactly what you want but it's quite interesting just because of that high carbonation if you like and that actually really does help gives the grassy character in the beer just a little bit something more But it's, it's, it's one of the lightest beers actually that I've tried before as well, one of the most highly carbonated and light beers. But in that sense, in, in terms of a macro lager, it actually is fairly nice in that sense, a hugely, hugely light beer. It almost reminds me a little bit of some of the Modelo beer from Mexico actually in that sense, very, very light beer. 
but like I say it's got a nice, uh, the, the thing that's interesting about this beer really is that nice kind of bittery grassy character at the end with just a little bit of citrus. Obviously it's not quite as flavourful as the, the sort of German Helles beers that take the same thing in but it is quite interesting in terms of a macro lager it does have quite a little bit more of a kind of a uh, punchy carbonation to it and it does help just bring out that grassy character a little bit more rather than making it kind of totally bland like some of these uh, macro lagers really can be so overall I mean it's quite an interesting beer if you're really into your craft beer perhaps this isn't the kind of beer for you for a really nice kind of light drinking beer that you would really just enjoy in the sun on a hot summer's day this is one to go for as I say there's a little bit of interesting character in the hop part of the beer the carbonation brings out just a little bit more of that grassy bit but it's very easy drinking very light bodied quite highly carbonated very crisp and actually one of the most crisp and light beers that I've reviewed actually on the channel so um, I hope you found this beer review informative anyway if you ever go to Barbados give the Banks Barbados Brewery beer a try hopefully there are some more beers from Barbados and this isn't just a one-off review that I'll get to do for you I'm sure if there's some Barbadians watching they can perhaps recommend some other Barbadian beers for me to try so please do that if you get the chance let me know in the comment section as always your own thoughts on this beer if you do happen to have tried it but um, thanks again for watching my beer reviews I do have another Caribbean beer, I believe this one comes from the Dominican Republic, so I will review that for you in the coming weeks. But thanks again for your support over my 240 odd videos that I've done now, I much appreciated. And please like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff. As I say, I'll catch you again soon with another beer review. Cheers.